and to return to this with a biblical idea, I'm, sh I'm fairly sure from personal experience that a lot of parents are perfectly content with bringing their children up vaguely within the story they've inherited. And at some point, the children realize that the fairy doesn't bring them money when their teeth fall out. And at some point, maybe around the same time or a bit later, they discover that Santa Claus doesn't really come down the chimney. And at some point, they realize that actually the whole religious thing is a kind of metaphor, but it's got them through the formative years in some way, often with terrible damage along the way. I can see that. But also with something else. And I'm, I'm struck by the number of people, and this is why I share some of what I think is Jordan's concern about the possibility of the world you're envisaging, which is I can think of a lot of parents now in my country and other countries as well, who I'm just very struck. They themselves are kind of baby boomer or 60s atheists, humanists, whatever. And I start to notice, for instance, that they're enrolling their children in Christian schools. And I say to them, why are you doing this? And they have fairly coherent arguments along the, way, the, the lines of the one I've just had. Look, I don't particularly believe this myself, but I think it's a pretty good way to bring up the kids it's a structure of a kind. And I'm not sure, I can find all sorts of flaws in that. But enough people are doing it that it's something that needs to be addressed. Yeah, well, I, I, would, it's, I would say, yes, it, it speaks to a real failure of imagination and, and effort in the secular community sure. to produce truly non-embarrassing alternatives. Exactly. Yeah. And, and this is... This yeah. is across the board. This is not just school. This is how do you conduct a funeral? How do you get married? You know, all of the, it, what, what rites of passage can you offer a 13 year old? What are you doing here? What are we doing here? Yeah, yeah. Just I mean, to have, how to, to be have, the first people in history to have absolutely no explanation for what we're doing at all. Yeah. Is, yeah. is a big moment. Yeah, yes. And that's the, but we, that's but, the, and then, I mean, that, that sharpens up my concern uh, perfectly because to, to shrink back from that moment and resort to one of the, the pseudo stories of the past, I consider to be a failure of nerve, both, both intellectually and morally. Hey, so, 